What's inside Mars? That's the question a new mission from NASA is hoping to answer when it lands on the red planet later today. InSight aims to find out how warm and geologically active Mars really is. So while other Mars probes look for water or signs of life, this one is quite different. The key question is to um, explore the interior of another Earth-like planet other than the Earth. Uh, and, or another rocky planet, and those are rocky planets other than the Earth, in order to be able to compare that planet, you know, with the Earth. So it's a comparison that we're aiming at. That comparison is what's fascinating scientists. Researcher Lu Pan from the University of Lyon says we really don't know much about what's beneath the surface. We do have some guesses from our understanding of the Earth's interior. We think Mars, as a terrestrial planet, it formed uh, more or less the same way as the Earth. So we think it has a core, a mantle, and a crust. And from um, we know that Earth's outer liquid core is the reason we have a magnetic field. And because we don't observe this magnetic field on Mars, we think probably it doesn't have a liquid outer core. InSight should land on a sandy area of Mars, where the German instrument on board will take readings on heat flux down up to five meters below the surface. It's not actually a trill, it's a penetrator. It's a, it's a, it's a check hammer, so to speak. You know, it, it has a hammering mechanism in its interior, and it's not rotating like a trill, but it's hammering straight down and into uh, the interior to a depth of uh, uh, hopefully five meters. First, though, InSight has to get there. It's notoriously difficult to touch down on Mars, and many missions have failed. Only NASA has so far managed to carry out a controlled entry, descent and landing, and fingers are crossed that they can do it again this time. So that landing is crucial. Once they've managed to touch down safely, they can start to put the instruments in place and really begin to study the interior of Mars. Jeremy Wilkes, Euronews.